UN aid statistics shows that Nigeria accounts for over 3 million people living with the HIV AIDS virus. That is the second highest number in the world after South Africa. Out of this number, a majority cannot access medication and care, which puts more lives at risk as the epidemic continues to spread. The Catholic Caritas Foundation of Nigeria, CCFN, also known as Caritas Nigeria, set up as a specialized agency of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, for Relief and Development, is a faith-based non-profit organization and a member of the Caritas Internationalist Confederation, which is a global network of 165 countries working hard to change the narrative for the poor and needy. Through a HIV AIDS treatment and care program known as the Sustainable HIV AIDS Care and Treatment Action in Nigeria, SUSTAIN, which is funded by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, Caritas Nigeria has gone the extra mile to take care of and take treatment to those who need it the most. Faith-based hospitals are located in difficult terrains most times in how to reach communities and where you hardly find government hospitals. Our staff had to go to all those facilities to ensure that they are providing services as much as they can. The community ART program under SUSTAIN was set up to create a treatment solution for patients in rural and hard to reach communities, preferring information, counseling, and up to speed quality treatment and therapy to improve the health and well being of people living with HIV. The community health services actually is designed to circumvent some of the challenges that we have identified in the course of implementing the program. The high cost of medication, distance of health facilities to their villages, as well as the deficit of manpower, are part of the reasons patients have been difficult to follow up with treatment and care. The community ART services were introduced as a solution to these impending problems by taking the services to patients at their doorsteps through patent medicine vendors and with the use of the e-ranger. And one of the ways we have done this is to identify community platforms. Of course, because of viability, the majority of these community platforms are not sufficiently viable to be able to accommodate some of the things that we needed to do. That's the reason why we have to procure a machine we call the E-Ranger machine. The E-Ranger now is a special bike equipped with different medical devices where we can set up a mobile clinic even in the community. We use it to offer treatment to patients, although in a minor form, but most times it's really for the testing um, of the clients that we come in contact with. Near or far, with the help of these specially equipped bikes, People living with HIV in the rural communities can have access to their medications, receive therapy, and get regular health checkups and counseling without the stress of waiting at health centers. It is a quick dash in and dash out of communities. Tekwembe Victor is one of the Caritas Nigeria trained E Ranger rider from Bainway State. Initially, we use uh vehicles to be going to these places. But when Caritas discovered that uh, the vehicles were not able to reach some of the people in the villages, they now come up with the idea that this is what another step they are going to take by bringing out the e-ranger so that it will help in reaching the communities where vehicles cannot be able to reach. Comfort Pata is an ART service provider in Logo community in Bainway State. She uses the E-Ranger to keep track of patients and ensure that everyone is covered wherever they are. Most of the times we use the E-Ranger to trace the person to their houses because the road is not wide. But the E-Ranger can take us whatever places that we want to go. Sometimes when we go there, we could not meet them in the houses. We have to trace them to the farm so that we can talk to them and know what is happening and about the drugs that they are taking. 
if we meet somebody that has missed appointment, we will talk to the person about how the drugs missing is bad to the person's body. Esther Uba and Alabi Gabriel are two beneficiaries of the services of the e-ranger machine. I was sick and started getting leaner. I went to almost every hospital around, but I did not know what was wrong with me. After several attempts, somebody brought me here. I was tested and discovered to be reactive. After treatment commenced here, I had a child who is still alive. Thank God as the drugs have been brought closer to us. I don't pay transport anymore. If I was not getting them free and close by, I may have died by now. As a farmer, I now have the strength to work, pay my children's school fees, and support my family. From the farms to the creeks, Caritas Nigeria is giving hope and a life-changing experience for people to access drugs and find more meaning to their lives. Our Lady of the Waters Hospital, Bomadi, has in the last five years become a house of soccer to HIV-positive mothers seeking ways to give their babies a better and healthier life, including other young people who are on the verge of death due to stigmatization and non-availability of ART drugs in general hospitals. CCFN coming to this part of, of Bomadi Delta State has touched lives right from this our facility down to the creeks because patients in the creeks didn't have any hope of livelihood when they are infected with these viruses and all that is left with them is to leave them to die. But Caritas coming to this facility has renewed their hope and also we've developed a strategy that we call mapping, which uh, CCF and FOCA people, when they came for TAVC taught us, the mapping in the sense that we've grouped all the patients that are in a particular region that are clustered in the area, then we have a focal person that goes there that supplies their drug right in the interior creeks with our speedboats and our adherence counselor reaching them to make sure that there is no loss to follow up. Helping them because transportation sometimes can be up to 3,000 naira to access care to this place. We shorten it by that way, you get to that place, you, you get your refill, then you can return to your place of work. We looked at the region here, we don't really have money. If we were to buy the drugs, they would have turned up. Many persons would have died like that. Without the help of Caritas Nigeria, through the Sustain project, people like Gordon would not be able to boast of enjoying a healthier life. Words are not enough to express the joy beneficiaries of this program feel. Actually, we don't really know this is the person that is doing it. But you know, in our group, we always pray for the people that God should keep on blessing them because we don't even merit it, but it is coming free. So we appreciate those people that are doing it. We say may God bless them. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, deeply appreciates the support of the United States government that funded the SUSTAIN project through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEPFA, and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Thank you for helping us bring succor to our brothers and sisters in need. No so long time ago. There was a small town that harassed food Where they received a meal After venture, the people get what they need They gather happy and joyful And humble in their acts Which is the sign of the presence of our living God with this